Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. If you're already subscribed, thanks a lot for your support and welcome back. If this is your first time, my name is Jimmy and on this channel we do song lessons, technique lessons, and gear videos just like this one. So if you enjoy this kind of content, be sure to hit that like button and consider subscribing. So this video is kind of long, so I put all the guitar playing at the end. Basically, we're going through and testing 32 custom presets for the Line 6 Helix. And I just wanted to set the video up and give a little background. So if you want to skip the talking, that's totally cool. Just skip ahead to the guitar playing. As always, check the description box below for those timestamps. And you can also find more equipment details, tips and tricks, along with some helpful links that I'll put in there as well. Now, since I've had the Helix LT, I've stayed away from using any custom presets. I've watched a lot of videos on other people's presets, sounds, things like that, but I, I've just been working on making my own. But I had a project coming up and I, I really wanted to test out some IRs because I haven't used them before and I just wanted to see what they would do. But long story short, I didn't really know where to start. So I went back, started reading about impulse responses, checking out some sites. And uh, as with a lot of this stuff, it's easy to get sucked down the rabbit hole um, because there are so many options with a piece of gear like the Helix. But then I stumbled across Michael Britt's custom Helix uh, preset pack. And of course he's known for his Kemper profiles, but I didn't realize that he had anything on the Helix. So I checked him out. The appealing thing here is you have 32 custom patches that he's put together, but he also bundles 30 of his own custom IRs. And to me, that's great because not only would I get the IRs to mess around with in my own patches, but I could also see in a practical way how Michael has used them in his own patches. So I was hoping in addition to getting some good sounds out of the pack, I could also learn some practical tips and techniques in the way that he's put the patches together. So this video is really to uh, share my thoughts and share the sounds on this preset pack. Uh, again, all the guitar playing, I'll go through each one of those and uh, you can listen to them and check them out uh, from there. But just my initial thoughts on it, because I've only had it for a few days here, but uh, I've just been messing around with it a little bit. But initially, I really enjoy the patches. Uh, now, I don't know if it's because the patches are using IRs. I have yet to test the patch with um, one of the stock cabinets, but I'm gonna go ahead and do that in the future. Um, so I don't know if it's because of the IRs themselves, some of the harshness is removed from some of the patches, or if it's just the way that uh, he's tuned the amp models. So I'm gonna go into that and check them out. But uh, initial thoughts are, I really enjoy playing through them. The other thing that I really like is the way that they're balanced between each other as far as level balancing. So that's a nice thing, uh, and you'll see it when you listen to the demos, but it's a great thing too because now I can use these patches as a reference because they sound really good live, but I can't always turn up uh, here to program patches. So at least I can reference some of my patches to these and hopefully I can get close uh, to tuning them correctly for live use, which is a nice thing as well. But now enough talking, let's go ahead and check out the patches, enjoy them, and let me know what you think in the comment section down below.
thanks again for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe for more videos just like this, and we'll see you on the next one.